So hello friend this is Niyashis Padi I am from the team of Mesanias so in this video we'll be discussing a very important topic that is how we can process how we can manipulate how we can execute the circuits which we are using in our day to day life so what are the different circuits which we we usually use in our day to day life it usually plays a very important role so when i usually comes to know about how a bulb is been authenticated how a bulb fans are been switched on and off based upon the in physical availability or i can say that there should not be any kind of physical availability which must and should be present so that's matters a lot okay so when i whenever i usually think about these all things then definitely there is there is must and should be the alternative for executing this application so that's the reason why here and in this project i will be discussing a very important topic that is all about what that is uh, about the yes that is about the remote operator domestic application or appliances control by arduino appliance or applications okay so these appliances should be controlled by a remote sensing or we can say that a screen sensing device that is all about android application based upon android application we must and should have to authenticate execute process as well as to make it function without in without physical appearance for those who are actually on off the electronic gadgets so i am from the team of mission ice whether i say that i am i have sneha's party uh, so in this video i'll be discussing everything in detail with you okay so this is all about the abstraction of the project here you can have the look on that so here abstraction in the project usually gives a uh, clear glimpse that the operating conventional wall switches is difficulty for elderly and physically handicapped people so we all know that usually those who are handicapped and uh, the elderly people who are much more aged than 70 years may not be uh, uh, may not be having a very good uh, physical appearance in their body parts or you can say that very may be physically weak so for them <coughs> how to process the electronic gadgets how to process the electronic switches or wall clocks or wall switches which usually give them comfort so usually without uh, their physical appearance they cannot move from one place to another place from their bed so from the bed itself they should have to authenticate they should have to process that's the reason why they have proposed we have proposed the system which usually solves the problem of integrating household appliances to a control unit so usually here the appliances will be controlled through a device we all know that how artificial intelligence usually works on so it is all about not all about artificial intelligence it is just about how you uh, have a key knowledge on your electronic gadgets how you have a key knowledge on how to process the electronic microcontrollers or microcontrolling devices which usually you have learned so just like uh, those applicants just like connection with different gadgets with different equipments usually gives the result of this appliances to execute through your smartphone or smart gadget so okay so here the second number point here actually it gives the example that the remote operation is issued by any smartphone or tablet okay so we can have any smartphone with us or we can have any tab tablets okay with android os okay with android os upon a gui graphical user interface based touch operation interface in the microcontroller of the 8051 family okay so here we have to know that the microcontroller which we usually use 8051 so okay the program of the microcontroller serial communicated with bluetooth which usually have the connection with the device as well as the appliances which usually been executed by the device usually it should must and should have to connect with the bluetooth for uh, transmission for receiving as well as for uh, sending the data sending the information and sending the commands okay so it's usually plays a very important role the reason behind the uh, uh, installation of bluetooth in the device okay so then after generated 
uh, respect to output based on the input data okay which i have already said on so send the output uh, in android application device to operate a set of relays through relay driver ic so here we usually need the execution of relay 2 for executing the program very successfully so <coughs> Here is the last more last two points which usually been displayed. So just I am giving a clear glimpse uh, explanation about how you are going to execute the process. So with the block diagram itself, you will definitely getting understanding about what the project is all about and how actually the project works on. So okay, so let me uh, have a clear details about that project of enter uh, or you can say that abstraction of the project so the control or the load or interface with the control unit through relays okay usually relays plays an important role in that execution the system can be used in existing domestic areas for either operating the uh, loads through conventional switches okay switches should be uh, giving the commands of different android applications too so the ac power consisting of step down transformer so it is all about 230 to 12 volts which steps down the voltage to 12 volt AC this is converted to DC using bridge rectifier so every concepts are been included here so unless and until you cannot be knowing if you do not know how actually the step down transform usually works how a usual bridge rectifier usually works then it is very much difficult for you to understand the uh, block diagram or the diagram which usually I am going to display in this chapter or in this video okay the ripple uh, are more removed using a capacitive filters here the capacitive filters are also been used and it usually regulates the 1.5 volt using voltage regulator 7050 which usually requires for the operation of microcontroller and other components okay so usually voltage regulator also needed so based upon all the criteria which are displayed in the last number point it usually require requires a transformer step down transformer then after a, a, a bridge rectifier then after a voltage regulator which usually regulates the thing or which usually regulates the microprocessor or microcontroller because a very good capacitive filters also be needers that is all about capacitive filters which usually require the project to be executed okay so these things usually place in the abstraction part so let me quickly move what are the different hardware equipments as well as software equipments which usually required for our debugging for not uh, yes for our de debugging as well as for our execution one is 8051 serial microcontroller booth device relay Relay drivers, crystal, register, capacitor, LED, diodes, transformer, voltage, capacitor or regulator and lamps. This usually consisting of hardware part. So then after if I discuss about software part, it usually requires skill. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> usually languages which usually consisting of embedded C or assembly language then after usually Android application for execution and debugging of the project so this is how actually the hardware requirement or the diagram usually signifies the requirements of different kits which usually been helpful for driving the project successfully so here is how the uh, configuration must and should be so here is the IC or so the microcontroller with microcontroller we should have to uh, relate with the relay drivers or you can say that relay IC drivers then after relays and lamps should be connected so supply should be given to those relays and those relays usually process the lamping whether it is going successful or not then after bluetooth device and these microcontrollers should be controlled to a regulator for protecting the ICs or protecting the microcontroller rectifier and transformer usually been here to regulate the power supply which has been given by given to the ic because if there is such kind of uh, deflation in the voltage deflation in the current may damage the ic totally that's the reason why we need regulator as well as rectifiers too uh, sorry. Then after usually Bluetooth device usually requires an Android application and uh, the programming language is usually uh, been assembled in the device itself such that the program will get an authentication, get an understanding about what the command is been given through the ICs or we can say that. So everything will be controlled with uh, a very good protective devices. So this is how the project usually helps in executing. Okay, so I hope you have got an idea about how to execute the project so in the next video if you have any queries regarding the project just comment 
me in the comment section on the YouTube channel. Definitely, I will reach you out with the ideas which usually needed for executing the project. Just implement the diagram and start processing your project. Definitely, it will become successful. Okay, success ratio is very very high in this project if you are choosing this project as your uh, final year project for uh, a submission as as well as for grading purpose then definitely you must and should have to choose this project okay so unless and until uh, you should not have been facing this problem okay so i hope you will get an understanding about the project soon and uh, let me end the video here itself okay thank you